Andy Rubin's startup Essential is about to start delivering its first product, the Essential Phone, to customers. Today, we finally had the chance to give it a shot. The Essential Phone comes at a time where the big players in Android, Google included, are about to launch their flagships. The Essential Phone has basically the same specs as those, but it doesn't ease up on the price coming in at $699. In the box with the Essential Phone, you get a standard array of accessories including a USB-C charger, a SIM tool, and a USB-C to 3.5mm headphone adapter since there's no headphone jack on the phone. It's also great to see that Essential includes more durable braided cables with the phone. At a glance, the Essential Phone is a pretty stunning device. Even with phones like the Galaxy S8 and LG G6 on the market, the Essential is still easily the one with the best screen to body ratio, and it's an impressive thing to look at in person. Holding the phone feels great and is far less overwhelming than any other device with a screen this size. Now the hardware on this phone is also impressive based on what you don't see at a glance. Essential pulled no stops with the materials using a ceramic back with a titanium frame. Most phones today are made out of aluminum, which is easy to damage, but thanks to the titanium frame, the Essential phone is stronger and more damage resistant without really making a difference in the way it feels or looks. The phone comes in three colors. There's the standard, very glossy, very fingerprint prone black, a very gorgeous white that I absolutely recommend waiting a couple of weeks to buy, and a unique and beautiful Ocean Depths. Now Essential says that this color is still being engineered, and even the model we got to test was just a frame, but there's no ETA on exactly when this will go on sale. As for the software and performance on this phone, it's nothing short of amazing for what it is. The Snapdragon 835 under the hood provides plenty of power and makes this phone feel faster than almost anything currently available, including Google's Pixel. Better yet, there's absolutely no pre-installed bloatware. Obviously, we still have a lot to test with the Essential Phone, including the camera, battery life, and just to see how it holds up in day-to-day -day use. If you want to be the first to catch our full review of the Essential Phone, subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned to 9to5google.com. I've been Ben with 9to5google, at NexusBen on Twitter, and thanks for watching.